Happy, happy Saturday, good folks. It is Nicolasa. Today is December 12th and I am in such a great mood. Um, I tried to film this a couple times and here we are. <laughs> uh, you guys know how it is when you have little ones. Um, in front of you, I have my buy, sell, trade item that I received yesterday from Libby. Thank you so much. I did a reveal of this item, but the reason I have it back on camera today is because I have a little bit of a question for you guys. And I also wanted to show you how I did end up decorating the item because I, I changed it a little bit. This is what we, what Vanderspeck calls the complete uh, nomad. And that is really a traveler's notebook. Um, I'm not gonna go into my whole story about how I carry different notebooks because we would be here forever. Um, long story, long, long, long story short. I was struggling with what I'm gonna do for 2021 and I'm still struggling, so you're gonna help me with that. But where this came in is I saw it on Buy, Sell, Trade, and I had wanted to touch, feel, smell, whatever, Vanderspeck, uh, undyed. I do have a sample, but the sample's really thick, and it didn't give me the complete you know, picture of how this leather is very beautiful. So I saw it, and I said, let me try it. At, a, at ver very bare minimum, I would be using it as a journal. So I t told myself that, and I got it in and I absolutely love it. Now, I don't love it enough to use it as a daily planner. I just don't, it's, it's a little too big for me. I'm, in an, I'm currently in an A6, so I won't be using it for that. Um, but I do use it for my journal and my finance tracking because I do a lot of buy, sell, trade. I also sell, you know, Bottegas and, and Louis and all that other good stuff. So it would be good to actually use this for that. So anyway, I'm gonna do a very quick flip through of the uh, Nomad for you. And then when I'm done, I want you to spend a little time with me, kind of helping me decide what to do with what's in the background. Uh, those are my A6 uh, ring binders that I purchased from either Buy, Sell, Trade or directly from Vanderspeck. I'm gonna spend a little time there kind of deciding what to do for 2021, okay? Um, I will say, I've made up my mind completely that I'm only going to use the Nomad standard for journaling. So I don't want to use it for daily planning, okay? Um, I also want to address something. The Nomad uh, Janet Leather Undyed, <clears throat> some folks, excuse me, say that they're kind of leery of um, having this leather because they are scared to use it. I'm here to tell you that I, um, this is kind of like the Vachetta Leather on Louis Vuitton. I want this leather. I want it to tell a story over time and the fact that I'm using it for my journal, that makes complete sense to me for it to tell a story over time. That is not to say I'm gonna go wash my hands and touch, or sorry, put lotion on my hands and touch it or put it in the window and let it tan. I I don't want it to tan, uh, you know, more fast or faster than it would normally. Um, I'm just gonna leave it be is what I'm saying. I'm not gonna use protector on it. Um, I'm going to treat it just like I would treat my Vachetta leather if I get something on it. I'm going to take my tried and true Huggies baby wipes, alcohol and fragrance free. I'm going to wipe it down and I'm going to follow with conditioner when I need to. But otherwise, I'm going to pretty much leave it alone. Okay. The item was listed as new. Um, she had gotten it in and didn't really want to use this size. You will see natural variations in the leather like right there I mean that is just something that happens whenever you touch it you know whenever you package it whatever um, I will be touching this daily because it is my journal however um, because I'm not going to be using it as a planner planner I feel as though I could keep this pretty much safe I am a stay-at-home mom I'm gonna put it right in my office and just grab it when I need to write in it which is usually when the kids are asleep and I've pretty much had the day to, you know, to go through the day and then I kind of jot down what happened for the day. So at any rate, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on what you see here at all because I already did a reveal. You will see my business card, a bow from Simply Gilded, um, some decorations from the Planner Society, along with a washi card at the top and a magnet. Girls hair bow clip, which is my tried and true for most of my binders. <clears throat> Excuse me. I really like decorating and so that is part of um, I don't know. This is why I do this, I guess. Um, in the pocket here, you will see uh, some stickers from uh, Villa Beautiful, along with Simply Gilded is in there as well. I use those for my journal. This is one of the softest 
pieces of leather. Uh, it still has structure, but it is one of the softest pieces of leather I have touched. And I've touched a lot of them, including traveler's notebooks with undyed and Louis Vuitton. Like this is the softest. All I wanna do is touch it all day long. You have a vellum, piece of vellum in here from Michaels. I have decorations in here from the Planner Society kit for November 2020. Um, Libby, who sold me this lovely um, Nomad, actually had uh, Foxy Fix dashboards on the interior and I didn't see them originally, so I love her even more. Um, she included three of these dashboards, the plastic dashboards, which I love, and then also this book from Sum Kine or Sum Keen. Uh, someone help me if I'm pronouncing it wrong. I think I'm trying to cover all of my tracks. Um, I just kind of put stickers on here. I would like to let you guys know that this book is amazing. Um, I had never had a book like this and I'm very impressed with the paper quality and not only that, just the decorations and the thought that was put into making the book. Um, in fact, each book has their own number for crying out loud. So if you have the chance, please visit their website and, and try to like get a, one of these because they're, they're amazing. On the interior, um, this quote actually came with the book and it says, open touch, close your eyes, feel. Um, and then I just put some pieces of washi there along with some uh, stickers and, you know, just kind of decorating it to kind of get in here. Um, this part here, um, I'm just going to be using for a tracking mechanism of things that I've ordered and I'd like to know when they're coming in. Um, especially because this one, this lovely baby was lost for, not lost, but not updated in the system for a couple of days. And so I had to keep going back to Messenger and getting the tracking number. So going forward, I will kind of put it here because I've got the room. There's a few pages that are dedicated to like a project, which I'm not going to be doing so, or the table of contents, I'm sorry, for this book. So I'm not going to make a table of contents. I just want to use this for tracking. I have this clipped with an Ollie clip. My Ollie clip is the pink diamond. I believe it's called pink diamond. It's nice and glittery. And then here I start my journal. Um, I'm not going to turn the page, but what I want to show you is originally I was kind of saying to myself, oh no, you know, this page is really long comparative to my A6, which is what I use as a journal today. But what I did note is that basically the page is separated with a pink line if you can see here all the other lines are gray and then in the middle of the line or middle of the page there's a pink line so I'm going to use that to put washi on and separate the days now there will be days where I actually fill the page you know <laughs> somebody pisses me off whatever um, I'm going to use that whole page but um, typically speaking um, right about here is what I like because what I don't like is having a journal and making myself um, write in it continuously just to be writing in it. Um, I do have carpal tunnel and um, I really cannot write for a long period of time. So anyway, I just want to use this portion and that portion, okay, for each day. Um, the next thing I want to show you, so this is going to be my journal. So that go, that takes you through the book. And also with that, understand that this is, let me see, 100 and some pages, so 140 pages. So, you know, if I split them in half, you know, we could almost get ourselves through the year with that. Um, and plus they're double sided, they're double sided. So I think I, I'm, I'm good. All right, the back kind of outline of this book <clears throat> kind of outlines what they sell. And I'm strongly thinking about getting an A6 um, weekly for 2021. Um, I'm normally in a Muji or um, a, uh, Hobonichi, although I've I've not done a Hobonichi yet, it's always been a Muji. I'm probably going to look into this maker for 2021. Just having sips of coffee here. Here at the back, this is the back of the um, the dashboard, the Foxy Fix dashboard that closes this book. And in the back, you see two of my four kids. Those are my two boys. I have another one and a daughter. Which, by the way, I'm I am newly I'm having a grandchild it's awesome um here is the back of the vellum that is from Michaels and then that starts the next section which is I have two elastics on each I do have the ability to have four books inside of here um, but I like only having two and making it simplified here is the acetate which is a thicker piece of paper or thicker 
material than vellum and on one side is gold the other side is silver again this is from the planner society november and as you can see here I'm, i put notes here because i'm going to be using this section for my finance uh stuff um i decorated here i do need some stuff in the pockets i have plenty of room to kind of you know expand and i can even decorate here but I just kind of said enough's enough for right now. Um, here is just plain paper. Now, these books are from, oh, I had something there. I'll have to figure out what that is. These books are from um, Michael's. They are just plain, you know, uh, paper. They're not any kind of specialty paper. They come in the uh, standards traveler's notebook pack. It comes with two and also that folder, um, the folder right here that you see. And the package is like, what, $7.98 or something like that? Um, so yeah, uh, Michaels. I gotta fix that, that's gonna bother me. All right, so back here I have a bowl that I made along with some uh, die cuts from the Planner Society. And then here, stencils for the journal, which makes sense because if you're gonna be journaling, you might wanna draw a heart, you might wanna draw some dollar signs, whatever. Okay, so that's in there. And then that closes that piece. In the back, I have um, a pocket from the Planner Society, that same kit, if I can get in here. And you can store things in here too. You could put a die cut in there or you could actually put some more stickers in there. Right now it's empty, but I put it there. Um, or papers, you know, maybe you have a saying that you like. Acetate at the back and then the piece of paper, um, kind of the cutout doily type of paper in the back, which I have accented with a piece of the acetate that I that I had to cut down for the standard size. Here, a ruler, of course, my Villa Beautiful pen, and um, my only wish is, is that, well, not wish, because I'm gonna do it, but I am going to get a pink pen that actually is accented in uh, gold, because, of course, having that be silver, it, you know, me, um, it's kind of bothering me. <laughs> so, um, I love the fact that this is the secretary pocket on this side. I'm I'm feeling the Nomad, by the way. Um, the only thing I would ask is that Vanderspeck makes a Nomad in the Weeks size or a Nomad in the A6 size. Now, I know I could order an A6 and customize it, but then we're talking about all this extra money. This particular item or binder does not have the back pocket. Can't say that I'm too upset about it because I would be doing nothing with that anyway because this is my journal. And so that's why you're able to see the elastics. I originally was gonna replace the elastics with pink and I decided against it simply because my elastics that I do have are thicker than this and I didn't want um, there to be pulling or it to be snug on my binder at all. So I decided just to leave them and there's enough pink, okay? Guys, listen, do you hear it? I know you hear that. OMG, this thing, if you do not have Janet Leather in particular, get it. And, and, and if you don't have Undyed, get it. Someone posted uh, something about touch me. I am not here to tell you don't do touch me. I'm simply saying for me, I'm a leather lover and so the touch me line is made out of buffalo leather and it does not not compare to the janet i don't care who says what i love it but if you're the type of person who cares about you know your leather wearing or you're going to be throwing it in your bag and you're not gonna whatever and you don't want to spend that kind of money because it's gonna you know show wear then maybe not but like oh, dude I'm going to be writing in my journal just to write in it, okay? All right. Now, here's where you come in to help me for 2021. <laughs> so if you're, busy, if you're done seeing the Janet Leather, you can exit. But before you do, please like and subscribe, okay? You have to do that. For those of you who are staying with me, um, I ordered this beautiful custom binder from Vanderspeck along with that beautiful black custom binder from Vanderspeck. It is in the A6 size, which I have found myself most comfortable in. Um, I did order two separate things because my brain said I wanted something different. I didn't want the same binder in a different color. Why? Don't ask because you know me, I tried to complicate everything. So this is a 25 millimeter ring. 
this is a 20 millimeter ring. If you pretty much are familiar with Van der Speck, you know that the 25 millimeter ring is slightly larger than the 20 millimeter ring. It has to be because it has to accommodate the bigger rings. It is a little bigger. I wish I had my uh, ruler, I don't. But what I'm gonna do for you is I'm gonna, and I have a video on this, so we're not gonna spend a lot of time, okay? If you note here, let's put this here because I've got a lot of decorations on it. Laying flat, if you look, take a look at it over here, you'll see the difference. We're looking at a half an inch, okay? If I can eyeball it, half an inch, okay? Quarter of an inch, maybe. Okay, now here's where you come in. Um, this is already decked out and ready for 2021. This is how anal retentive I am. This is ready for 2021. I have gotten and paid for, printed, and, and, and cut out and punched <laughs> inserts. Okay, it's ready. Monthly, weekly, I got you. At the back, I have notes, all right? Completely decked out. And then this one, I had already come to the conclusion I was going to sell. And the reason being is because I started getting into, oh, I want a codex, you know, I want something different. So I said, okay, well, I definitely cannot sell my Barbie Napa. That's my favorite. That's my favorite leather so far from Vanderspeck. So I ain't selling it, right? I put this one for sale. It's still sitting there. But um, yeah, I've been struggling, guys. All right, here's my struggle. I think I want a codex. Um, but I also wanted some 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 elastic in there, which makes it a nodex, right? Here, here, here is where you come in. I have already decided to sell this one, right? But part of me says, hey, why don't you take the rings out of this, which I don't feel comfortable doing, but just, you know, take the rings out of this and then take your A6, your A6, uh, Muji, right? Because this is what I'm going to get, or that other one, Sum Kine, right, for 2021, and slide it right in here. Remove your rings, and there you go. You have what you want. Okay, <laughs> kind of, sort of, kind of, sort of. Um, I don't know that I'm comfortable doing that, so that's my issue. I do like the pocket configuration and all that stuff. And, and so part of me is saying, do that. I mean, you order custom binders, you have squared corners, you have whatever. For this particular one, I don't have the big bag pocket. So I probably still will get go ahead and get rid of this, but then replace it with a codex. I'm comfortable there, okay? Now, here's where you help me. This is my prized, my most prized possession right now. Um, she's my baby. She's my first Vanderspeck baby. This is what I'm saying in my brain because I ordered her first. I am saying I'm uncomfortable removing her the rings on here. And I don't know if I'm going to feel comfortable carrying this as my codex, okay? So I'm at a loss. I don't know what to do. I want 2021 to come in right. So no matter what you do, I'm not going to have my binders because, or I'm not going to have it because it's already December, December 12th, right? So that's not happening. I'm not getting it. So <clears throat> this one has a little bit more room. Obviously, if I remove my rings, um, I will be golden in here. Um, and I can even take my fly leaf and cover the spot where I remove the rings. I saw another um, member do that. She does that all the time. So I've actually reached out to her because I, I wanted to get like a little um, insight from her as to whatever. I'm all over the place is what I'm trying to say. Um, yeah, so you guys got to help me. Uh, <laughs> I know I want a codex. I think I want a codex. Here's what I'm not understanding. Should I keep this? Should I just keep this and just leave it alone, just kind of put it on the shelf until I know exactly 100 and 1000% what I'm doing. Because if I get rid of this and I really wanted it, I'm going to be upset. I'm going to be really upset. Um, the other ones that I'm talking about getting rid of, I don't really care, like if they're gone, but I, I think I care if this one's gone. It's got the texture that I want. It's got the interior that I want, and it's got the back pocket. So I think my only issue is when I get ready to order my codex, which should be in the next day or two, should I even order it? And if I order it, 
I want my Barbie Nappa. Like that, I want that. And so it kind of seems silly to me to order that with Barbie Nappa interior and let this $400 plus item sit on the shelf. Like that doesn't make any sense to me at all. So I'm, I'm kind of at a loss. Um, this one right here, my Azalea, that is a purchase that I made on Buy, Sell, Trade as well. Again, I was in my rings and in my feelings about rings. This one is a 25 millimeter, so same, 25 millimeter um, ring with the discontinued pink number 22. So honestly speaking, <laughs> this is like one of the ones too that I'm like, are you sure you want to get rid of this? <laughs> and this one has the big back pocket. So I don't know, folks. What? I don't know. Uh, help me, okay? I will tell you this. I don't carry my binders with me in my purse. I just don't. Um, I keep saying I want to be able to do that, but honestly, I don't need to do that. I am a stay-at-home mom. I'll say it again. I don't go anywhere, and if I do, I'm not carrying my binder with me. It, it is that simple. One other thing I want to know, and I'll let you go. When I do order um, my Codex, I wanted to know if I should um, go with maybe... Uh, if I keep that, if I keep this one right here, since it's brown and it's got the Barbie Nappa interior, I'm just going to keep that as like my first order from Vanderspeck, whatever. I'm thinking I shouldn't order the same color. So I'm thinking I'm going to go with either Janet Brown on the outside and Barbie Nappa on the interior, which is a classic, but I did want that. I wanted a neutral classic. Um, or should I do the black since I'm you know, potentially going to sell this, should I do the black exterior with the Barbie Nappa? I think it would be beautiful. And here's the deal. I do have, um, look at that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Look at how beautiful that would be. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do it. I don't know, guys. You guys comment down below. Help me out. Um, I'm going to let you go. Please, please like and subscribe. Let me know if there's something you want to see me do. Um, in the meantime, I'm loving Vanderspeck. I'm loving sharing my items with you. And uh, I think I'm going to stay with Vanderspeck no matter what because I, I truly have touched and felt the softest, most quality leather that I have touched on a binder um, at all. So, all right, guys, uh, pray for me. I'll pray for you. Make sure you are out here remaining COVID-free. Like and subscribe to my channel and make sure you comment down below and let me know what I should do with myself for 2021. You guys rock.